For this project, you're going to need heat shrink tubing, screwdriver, wire strippers, wire cutters, a new fan, solder, and a soldering iron. To get started, first you're going to take the cover off of the power supply. That's going to be held on by four screws. One of those will be underneath the warranty sticker, which obviously you're avoiding the warranty by doing this. So the first thing we'll do is remove the four screws that hold the cover on the, onto the power supply. If you have difficulties removing the cover, you might want to also remove the fan itself. It'll make it a little easier to get the fan cover off. So once the cover's off, pull the fan out of the way and you're going to see how it's plugged into the power supply. So it's typically going to be two wires held into the bundle. Cut that zip tie. See, in this instance, my fan is plugged in with that white connector. If you have a fan like this, it can be easy to replace if you buy a two-wire fan. Otherwise, cut the wires, strip them, and we're going to solder the new fan on. So the new fan I got is a three-wire fan. So the yellow wire isn't going to be used. That's just for monitoring the speed. So what we're going to do with that is just put some heat shrink tubing over it and not use it. So the other two wires, the red and the black, they're going to match up with the red and black coming out of the power supply. And so we're going to end up soldering all of those as well. Basically you want heat shrink tubing on each of the wires. Plus I like to put a uh, extra piece of heat shrink tubing that's bigger over top of it. And that's going to shrink around all of the connections. So with the yellow wire we just fold it in half and put a piece of heat shrink tubing over top of it and that's just going to keep that from making a connection with anything inside the power supply. For the red and the black we'll strip the wires off the fan. And then we'll twist together the two black wires first. And when we do this, we want to try and make it as even and as straight as possible so that once the heat shrink tubing's on there, it's, it's a nice straight wire. Uh, we'll do the same thing with the red wires, twist them together. Next, we'll get our soldering iron. We're going to heat it up to 700 degrees. I use a Hacko soldering iron, it's digital, it heats up extremely quick and is very easy to use. So I'll put a link to that below. And I'm going to also try and straighten these with a pair of pliers. This is going to help when the heat shrink tubing is put back over the wires just to keep everything straight and, and neat. So I'm going to apply the heat of the soldering iron underneath the wire and once that heats up the solder will flow down and cover up both wires. We'll do the same thing with the red wire. You do want to be careful not to burn the uh, sheathing on the wire itself so sometimes you may need to start the solder by touching the tip of the soldering iron to get it flowing. Uh, once those have cooled I'll take the small heat trick tubing push it evenly across the splice. When I strip those wires I lift about three quarters of an inch on each wire and I'm just going to heat that up with a lighter. You could also use a heat gun uh, or a hair dryer. It might take a little longer um, just to uh, shrink that heat shrink tubing. Lighter works good just make sure that you don't hold it in one spot for too long or else it might burn the sheathing off one of the wires. So once those are done I'm going to pull the larger piece that I mentioned and that's going to cover all of the connections. And I'm going to shrink that also. This power supply had a uh, deflector over the fan, so I'm going to pull that off and stick it onto the new fan. 
But when you are putting the fan in, make sure you keep the orientation correct so that the fan is sucking the hot air from inside the case and blowing it out and not pulling in air through the power supply. Once that's done, we're going to have to reconnect the wires to the bundle just to keep things neat. So I'm going to get a small zip tie and zip tie the wires to the big bundle and clip off the excess. So another thing I'll do here is put the um, fan, reattach that back to the uh, cover of the power supply. So next you just line up the case with the body of the power supply. The sides of it will tuck into the side of the, the body of the power supply. Once that's done, just put the four screws back in. And then you're done. So if this video was helpful, please hit the like button, leave some comments below, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.